Hello, my name is Jack Hopper. I'm an apprentice operator and I've been with the OPA for a year. I joined the OPA after I left school, uh, came straight uh, on site with all qualifications from school. Uh, I didn't have any experience in the tank sector, but I did have a bit of experience in waste management with my family's business. I wasn't aware of the tank storage industry before I got this apprenticeship. Uh, I came across this apprenticeship through the government website for apprenticeships um, and I was on that throughout school and when I came across this it was something different and I went for it. I first was attracted to this apprenticeship just for the sheer fact that no one was doing this sort of work and I wanted to do something different compared to all of my friends. So my journey with the OPA so far I came here for two weeks whilst I was still in school for a bit of work experience uh, and from there I came on site full time and I've been up in Grimsby for a little while to do the theoretical side and learn about the legislation within the sector. So my roles and responsibilities at the minute are on a morning I'll be assigned with one of the senior operators on site and I will shadow them um, doing normal operations and uh, daily checks. I most enjoy refueling barges and road tankers and uh, every day when I'm assigned with a new operator it gives me a chance to learn something else from them. I definitely recommend a job in the tank storage sector to anyone. Uh, it's got very good progression, especially within the OPA. Uh, and it's very interesting, you know, through the training and everything that is provided. You know, you learn all the background information and you're also working hands on. In five years' time, I'd like to see myself the fuel supervisor of this site, or if the opportunity arises, further up than that. So, operations manager or depot manager.